Welcome, my fellow electronic music heads, Michael Babbitt here. I'm going to take you on a tour of Ilio's brand new patch collection for Spectrosonic's Omnisphere called EDM Eclipse Solar. We're going to go under the hood, I'll show you how some of these patches are made, and then give you some tips and tricks on how you can shape and mold them to your heart's desire. Sound like a plan? Then let's go. In this example, I'm going to show you one of the sounds that I'm using in the demonstration track that's up on the Ilio website. It's called Speeder Freak. And there's a, there's a sound in here called Seven Thunders 2. And that's what I'm going to show you now. So if I play this patch, you'll notice that there's a slight sidechain compression effect on it. Nope, that's not a plug-in. That's happening inside Omnisphere. So there you hear it in context with the drums, the bass, and all the other goodies. Would you like to know how it's done? I thought you'd never ask. Let's start by clicking on the envelope zoom. Then we're going to click on the modulation one button, which is going to reveal our envelope. Now look at this pretty little curve that I've got drawn in here. This allows me to get the following sound when I play. Are you noticing how the sound drops out as the curve drops down? Now if I turn my modulation wheel all the way up, it's more extreme and no modulation in the down position. And that's me moving my modulation wheel up and down, adjusting the amount of sidechain compression that I want. And here's another great feature. Song mode is selected by default, which means that as long as your DAW's clock is running, man, you can be early, you can be late, you're always going to be on time. Your sidechain compression is going to work when it needs to work. That allows you to concentrate on performing live or improvising in the studio. Okay, let's zoom out of the envelopes and zoom in to the modulation matrix. Now, look, layer A is controlling modulation envelope 1's amplitude, and lo and behold, layer B is doing the same thing. And we only have one modulation wheel, so we're going to use that and control the depth of modulation envelope 1. Now look over here as this white dot is moving. That's the level of my modulation wheel. Pretty neat, huh? Now before I forget, let me show you over here in the status, both envelopes are inverted. Now why on earth would I do that, you may ask? Well, let's zoom out, go back in here to the modulation 1 envelope, and let me show you here. So we've got this envelope drawn into 1 beats time at the top of section 1 here. This is where the kick comes in and you hear very little synth. Then on the second section of this beat, where it curves down, this is where your kick is gone and your synth comes in. Now you can change the envelope to your heart's content to get different attack and release times. Omnisphere makes it super easy to make a sidechain compression effect without headaches. 